To set a software alarm within the MatchTech software, begin by clicking Manage Rules at the top. To create a new alarm, click New. At the top of this prompt, we have the ability to name our new alarm. We'll name this High Threshold Breach. Next, we'll jump down to this section. In the first drop-down, select the device model you'd like to set alarms for. If you'd like to set an alarm for only a specific device, you may specify the device's serial number here. With the Specify Serial Number tick box left unchecked, the alarm rules will be applied to all devices of that particular model. In the second drop-down, select the parameter you'd like to apply rules for. In the following drop-down, we'll specify whether we'd like the alarm to trigger above or below a set threshold, or have it trigger when readings jump by a specified amount. Now enter the desired threshold. And lastly, choose the desired amount of time or readings that the device may continue to read beyond the set threshold before triggering the alarm. Now we'll create a second alarm for the same device model by clicking the plus button. Again, select your desired parameter, threshold, and other settings. With multiple conditions created, it's important to select whether we'd like to have the alarm trigger once all conditions have been met simultaneously, or if any of the conditions listed below are met at any point. In the next section, we'll tell the software what we'd like it to do once conditions are met. Begin by clicking the plus button. From the drop-down, we can choose whether we'd like to send an email or text alert, trigger a program to run, or begin ignoring further alarm rules. We'll set up an email alert. If no previous contacts have been created, select Add Contact. Enter your contact's information, then click OK. If email settings have not yet been configured, you may do so by clicking the button in the bottom left of this prompt. Then selecting your configuration, followed by entering in your SMTP settings then the email and password associated with your email address. Be sure to send a test email to confirm everything is working properly. Once confirmed, click OK. Now with all conditions and actions defined, we'll decide how often actions will be performed. With the first tick box checked, actions will only be performed once the alarm is first activated. If you'd like alerts to perform actions multiple times, select the second tick box and specify the time delay between triggers. When finished with this alarm rule, click OK to save it. If you'd like to go back and make changes, click the Edit button. The Delete button will delete a selected rule, but you also have the option to temporarily disable a rule by clicking on the icon in the column titled Enabled. If you'd like to create a similar alarm rule, the Duplicate button may be useful rather than starting from scratch. With multiple alarm rules created, you'll have the option to reorder the list. Alarm rules will be applied in order, and depending on what rules are set, it may be advantageous to have one alarm trigger before or after another. And if you'd like to start from scratch, the Delete All button is available. When finished, click Close, and the next time any conditions are met while logging data, the specified actions will be performed. If notifications have been received that an alarm rule has triggered, you may choose to dismiss the alarm by navigating to the alarm log. Here, you can dismiss specific alarms or dismiss all triggered alarms. You also have the option to acknowledge alarms, which allows users to leave a comment describing the event. To acknowledge multiple alarms with the same comment, begin by control clicking each alarm you would like to select, then click acknowledge all. Acknowledged alarms will appear as annotations on the graph. If there are any events that regularly occur, you may also choose to create a comment template. To do this, begin by clicking on the File tab. And now Options. From the Options window, navigate to the Alarm section. Now click New. Then type up a title and comment in the fields. When finished, click OK to save the comment. When we navigate back over to the alarm log and acknowledge an alarm, we now have the option to simply select one of our created templates to save time. If you have any questions, call or visit us online at magtech.com.
www.thepowerofpowerpodcast.com. 